Good morning, everybody, and what a wonderful day it is here in LaVale, Maryland. You're now looking at the next POTUS, President of the United States, at least I hope. Remember, I'll be a write-in candidate in 43 states. The other seven don't allow it, but I'm going to figure something out there. My campaign is all social media, electronic, internet-based with no, let me repeat, no money. And you can make it happen. Today's issue, the border. Yeah, that's a hot topic. I will shut down the border and make it tighter than a drum. I'll put the National Guard, active military, police, and even sworn deputized citizens 100 feet apart on that border to make sure it's secure. That alone can create jobs. No rope ladders, no actions like I saw in 60 Minutes. Let me explain that. I understand there's a reservoir between the United States and Mexico where illegals were crossing and drowning so somebody, probably our government, I don't know, put a rope ladder across there so people could pull themselves across. How's that sound? And then I saw a report on 60 Minutes where illegals were coming across the border, our southern border, and the border patrol was saying, all right, this way, okay, yeah, go over here to this facility, yeah, this way. And they'd go in there and get processed put them on a bus, and send them throughout the United States. That is absolutely insane. And to think in terms of, uh, you know, Trump wanting to build a wall, that's at least an attempt. But then letting them in in other spots, oh, my gosh, that would stop. I can tell you that. I'd beef up the process by more agents at ports and airports. And even if the process took longer, if it took a tractor trailer coming out through there, maybe a matter of hours or a day, we're going to go through it with a fine tooth comb and take a little longer and make sure drugs are not coming in and illegals are not coming in. I'm going to commission somebody to develop better scanning devices and sensing equipment. I want to try to reunite alien orphan children with their parents. If I can't, if their parents are in Mexico, send the child to them. If the parent and the child's here, well, we're going to have to come up with a policy involving all illegal aliens. And if the child's parent can't be found, we'll just have them adopted out to American families if we have to. There's got to be a stop to this. And I have the answer. Illegals, try to locate them and either try a path to citizenship or send them back. Whatever the decision is, if we want to educate them, register them, Everything involving what an American citizen does, we might do that. I say we might. If not, send them back. Only a select group of foreigners can enter our country and maybe become citizens. Those are people from other countries that really contribute, can contribute to our society. Maybe doctors and things like that. Can't let just anybody in. Forget the give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send me the homeless tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. That's on the Statue of Liberty. No longer. Back when that was made, things were a lot different. No, we can't just take anybody. Forget the melting pot. No more wimpification of the United States. And that applies in all areas. Now, Barb from West Virginia asks, 
What would you do with the present Iran situation? I don't know a whole lot about it right now. I only see what's on the media. I'd have to talk to my intelligence people. But if our embassy was destroyed without provocation, sounds like that was the right uh, retaliatory um, response. First of all, I guess I'd ask that leader over there, why? Why'd that happen? He probably wouldn't give me an answer. Definitely probably wouldn't give me a good answer. Then we have to take care of business. There's no question about it. Tom from Maryland says, should transgender troops be allowed to serve in the military? Yes, as long as they do their job and don't ask for special concessions. Gail from Pennsylvania asks, should college athletes be paid? Well, there's a lot of things I have to worry about before that, but, you know, I can, I can handle that. They're already getting paid. Some of them with free scholarships, some of them partials. But I do know that athletes ought to be paid the same in college, get the same benefits. Now, every Monday, I'm going to post this normal campaign speech here. And it'll be put on, I'll either do it live or taped. It'll be put on Facebook YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Now, every Thursday, keep this in mind, we're going to go live. We're starting a new show called Politics, like many blood-sucking creatures. I hate politics, and I think that's the ruination of our country, the biggest. I'll discuss facing issues uh, such as... Uh, what can help our country, and we'll even discuss some politics, which I hate. Next page. On that show, we'll provide a number where you can call in, you can ask questions, you can give opinions, and even be a guest on our show. How'd you like that? I just asked a guy in Walmart right there. I said, hey, do you have any questions I can put on the air today? He said, no, no, no. I, everybody's got an opinion. Everybody's got questions, but they just don't want to put it on the show. Remember, you don't have to like all of me to like me. You've never met a man like me. I'm running right alongside you. And remember, I've got a secret.